now from the VPN locations available here on this screen when the user tap on anyone we have to start the VPN connection for that specific one on which the user tap so let's just implement that click event on it for that purpose here on our body where we implement this which is our this one VPN available server data here it is okay and we have implemented with the help of this VPN location card widget VPN location card widget so when the user tap on any VPN location this is the click event so home controller dot VPN info dot value to this we will assign VPN info and then app references dot VPN VPN info object to our VPN info object we will assign the VPN info and we will say get dot back that is get back to the home screen we can say home controller dot VPN connection stat dot value if the value of this become equals to VPN engine dot VPN connected now then if the value of it become equals to the VPN connected now then it means that the VPN is already running and when the user tap on it uh, we have to stop the we have to make sure to stop the previous connection or the connection which is already running so we can say VPN engine dot stop VPN now and then we will add some delay future dot delayed duration seconds 3 3 second delay we will add you can say home controller dot connect to VPN now it simply means that if we are if the stat is if the VPN connection stat is already connected let's say we are already connected to any server okay and the user tap uh, go to the uh, VPN available server screen and tap on any other VPN server location so we have to make sure to close the previous connection that is stop the previous VPN and then uh, connect to VPN for a new location on which the to which the user wants to connect so this is the if condition and then else that is let's say it can happen that let's say the connection is not already connected to any VPN location so we will then just directly connect to VPN so now let's just install the app on our phone So the app is running now. Now let's go to select country location and now from the available VPN connection list you can select any location to which you want to connect. So for example I will simply select this one which is Thailand. It asks for the permission. Free VPN wants to set up a VPN connection. Okay, So you have to allow click OK. So it is now connecting and you can see that we are now connected you can see the key uh, this key button as you can see here which means that we are connected to VPN and you can see the country which is Thailand 
and then the ms we are getting 38 ms for this connection and this is the speed the download speed and this is the upload speed so congratulations our vpn is running successfully there is only one small problem which is related to this button and we will fix this in the next video for now our vpn is running successfully and one thing is left which is this button ui as you can see will fix its ui and also the text on it and also let's take a test this if state which is basically if we are already connected to any server for example currently we are already connected to thailand vpn server so let's change to any other one so in that case it will first you know that it will first close the previous vpn connection and after three seconds it will connect it to the new location new vpn location on which the user will tap so let's tap this time with any server you can select from here for example i can select korea republic i will simply clip, click on that and it is now connecting to the korea republic it will close the previous one and connect it with the new one so you can see that after three seconds the korea uh, vpn connect to, to the vpn server for korea we are connected now ping for this is 30 ms this is the download speed and this is the upload speed